Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today I wanted to do a video about comfort setups that I use on like daily basis that essentially like, you know, eliminate this glaring issue of every quest headset in general, which is uncomfortability when wearing it. We'll be looking pretty much at face mods and the straps because those are like the two major ones usually that make like wearing a headset uncomfortable as fuck. It's also a very personal thing because some people don't have any problems with comfort at all. It's basically a specific to the head shape, like, you know, with hair stuff like that it's something that you have to be aware what would work with you and you know try out yourself pretty much but there are kind of like a universal things that every kind of serious quest user should invest because it really enhances the experience overall when you can actually spend way longer time the headset itself <laughs> pretty much everything i'm gonna show you today is gonna be from vr cover and it's not like i'm a fanboy or something but vr cover in the past with my first headset it worked pretty well and it eliminated pretty much every issue i had with comfort that way I can like you know feel loyal to the brand itself and for the right reasons because they create a really good stuff that is like a standard that is in the industry honestly at this point they should be fucking sponsoring me or something like that because I'm gonna be pretty much selling their products in this video but full disclosure of course that everything I will put in a video today I bought it myself with exception of one thing that was sent to me for free but it doesn't work so <laughs> I'm gonna mention it anyways but it's not gonna be like something major in this video so with me I kinda customized two specific setups because I record videos and I use VR in other manner as well. So I'm gonna show you pretty much how I constructed the things I wanted to upgrade and then things that specifically help with comfort. So we're gonna do a quick recap with the first headset. Two major things I changed here, excuse my filthy headset, <laughs> was that I only needed a face pad to diminish the pressure of the headset that pushes on your face. It was essentially that the stock one was very hard sponge which was very not comfortable to wear. So that was like pretty much the staple. Then then the situation that when you take care of the discomfort on your face then it transferred to your back of the head for some reason and that's universal with both headsets so the solution to the back of the head was this sponge to put like on the back of the head strap basically the same material as the face pad that essentially when you were wearing it both of the time you could like wear your headset for hours so now going back with quest 2 so quest 2 has initially a stock foam which in comparison with the first headset it was like a softer material that was way more comfortable to wear still at times you could feel like you know unnecessary pressure basically on your forehead as well after like one hour or one and a half session so just like with the first headset my overall solution was the leather face kit replacements although this material is way different than the first one it's like way softer so basically when you wear it the material really sticks to your face and like adjusts to your like crevices so it really is capping your face but like it's like universally fitting for everyone which is pretty good. Initially it had problems with the, you know, ink distributing on the, the people's faces when you were like sweating in games. Personally I didn't experience it at all. I feel like this wave of face pads are without this issue because it was basically in the US a production error with the first wave of face pads. As well as I have those cloth condoms. It's basically like an alternative to the leather one but in terms that you can put it in the washing machine. This is actually a thing that I got for free and it kind of sucks because when you see like here it's too small what the hell <laughs> so it's like essentially it blocks like the front of your face but not really like the bottom for some reason i don't know if other for example like the cloth materials from vr cover cap the whole kind of interface but this one seemed too small for some reason i still use that whenever i'm like demoing my headset to other people that way i can contain a fairly reasonable hygiene to be fair <laughs> of course people are lazy and it's advised to like you know wash your interface when you're switching headsets between people but like <laughs> A very small percentage of people that they will actually do it out of sheer laziness. So like cloth replacements are actually a good idea for people who share the headset like in the household. The comfort is basically like you would wear a t-shirt, right? It's a little bit better than the stock foam, but I would say the leather face pad is like more comfortable just because of the different material. So now moving to the straps. I have the stock one and the elite one. My elite strap is kind of modded in a way that if you remember there was a leather pad for the back of your head. This one has the same thing and it's exactly the same material that you have on your face leathery adjustable kind of foam it comes to be like kind of sits in the shape that whatever you have going on there <laughs> so i basically kind of copied the setup from the first headset transferred to the elite strap in the quest 2 basically and like putting it all together face pad and this one it's my recording setup simply because i attach my microphone here so that's primarily why i use that and it's more secure on your head in a way that you know damn well that your headset won't go flying simply because it's like adjustable here right 
right? I think the most glaring issue in this setup is that you can't comfortably kinda, you know, remove it from your head. It's basically fixed in place when you tighten it. So then it is kinda annoying if you wanna fastly see something in your perimeter besides turning off the guardian because then every time you have to adjust like, you know, the strap to even move your head. So you get this stable comfort but in exchange for like movement of the headset itself. For me that works for recordings because I do long sessions of recordings. I don't really remove the headset from the head anyway so that works while you're spending a long time in the VR. Now on to the second setup which I think is pretty interesting because it is setup that I use every day if I don't record so like for just normal usage. So the face pad stays because that's basically what I use in both setups. It's the most convenient, most comfortable and just overall works the best. Now what I actually use and not might shock a lot is this monstrosity <laughs> so basically to break this down this is actually the stock strap that everyone gets with the headset but they modded in a way that is even more comfortable than elite strap and that's quite shocking in the middle that you put like this plus on the back of your head here is a foam that ultimately blocks those things that would really hurt your head after like 15 minutes because those are like you know those adjustable sliders that you kind of adjust like you know tightness of the strap itself this thing like covers it and then puts an additional leather pad to like really make things comfortable. As well as I use those you know headphones that I got for free. Yes I actually use it. I just didn't get free shit for nothing. I act it's actually good for me. You know whenever you're like relaxing in your headset and you're like watching film or whatever having headphones like that with good bases is actually great. And that's how this baby looks when it's like full on relaxed day. It looks like very tight but it's basically that because this strap is elastic you can really secure it on your head and that way as well if you want to check your phone or just like do other things you can just remove the headset it's not the elite one that you can just fix it in place and then do nothing about it so this is very much about full-on experience audio wise comfort wise and just kind of like you overall that having an actual vr headset in your head downsides of it of course you can't really store it in the backpack simply because of the headphones and dismantling them is really actually a pain in the ass just like i said in the review so this is pretty much just fixed in place as well. So those are pretty much my two setups, right? Elite strap for the recordings, stock strap for the relax time. And so far that's the best in terms of comfort, in terms of like usability that I found and just works for me. There are a lot of like, you know, custom straps on AliExpress, on eBay, on Amazon, you know, stuff that works as well and they are way cheaper than whatever I have going on here. But for some reason it's just that I have a thing with like the official brands. That way I kind of like feel secure about the quality because I don't think there are any better like brands in terms of quality of their products for the virtual reality at least for me although vr cover is known now for unbearable shipping times <laughs> and that's what would happen with me as well i mean face pad i think i got in like two months <laughs> like excuse me and the rest like you know two weeks for me nothing like really groundbreaking because i'm like patient i don't really expect vr cover to be like you know instant at this point although it courts like you know reliability and just like respect for the brand itself but for me that's not the issue i can wait whatever up until the product is good that's what's important and those are pretty much the mods that i use now i'm gonna list every mod that i have personally like you know under the video those are not links uh, sponsored or whatever i should be sponsored but <laughs> it is what it is i just want to spread the information about like you know how to eventually fix the comfort issues on your headset and if anyone finds it interesting or helpful i mean that's what's important for me to be honest feel free to ask me whatever about those things and i'm gonna answer it as helpful as i actually can sometimes i feel like people on the youtube are throwing around the brands or whatever what should you buy but they are not using them actually in their vr videos on like on every day but those things that i mentioned here are actually that i use so for me that's confirmed that it works and i get behind about the quality and that i can say ultimately that my comfort issues with the quest 2 are officially done thank god half year after the release of the actual headset i actually can spend more than one hour in the headset but at least we're here that will be it